Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello my dear students I am Santosh in this video we're going to see a question from electronic devices and circuits from the chapter metal oxide semiconductors field effect transistors this question has been asked for two marks first of all let me read the question A complementary MOS inverter has midpoint voltage V i is equal to V d d by two, as shown in the figure. V d d value is given as three volts. Full stop. C MOS is operating at a voltage of V d d by two, and we can see in the figure that when you are operating with the input voltage of V d d by two, the output voltage is also V d d by two. Whenever this happens, both the transistors P MOS and N MOS are going to work in saturation region. Right, the, some data is has been given. Mu N C O X is going to be 100 microampere per volt square. Mu P C O X is going to be 40 microampere per volt square. V T N is 0.7 volts. V T P magnitude of it is going to be 0.9 volts. We have to find the ratio of W by L for N divided by W by L by P. So three decimal accuracy is required. So the transistors we are going to have one is a P MOS. And the other is a N MOS. So here, when you are talking about a P MOS, N MOS, so in the case of N MOS, drain is connected to the output, source is going to be grounded, and the gate is going to be the input. When we talk about the P MOS, then here source is connected to the battery, and drain is connected here, and gate is of course connected to the input. Now we know both the transistors are going to operate in a saturation region. In the case of saturation region, we know the current is going to be the same here. The current which is flowing in P MOS, the same current is going to flow in the N MOS. So I D in the case of N MOS is going to be equal to I D in the case of P MOS. So therefore, considering that we are operating at V D D by two, it is going to be in saturation region. Both the transistors are going to operate in a saturation region. So where the drain current is given by half mu N C O X. W by L N V G S minus V T whole square. This is nothing but the drain current for N MOS is equal to the top one by two mu P C O X W by L P V S G minus magnitude of V T P square. So what happens here? One by two gets cancelled out. Mu n value, mu n C O X is already given as 100 micro. So whatever micro here and the other side, it's going to get cancelled out. So you're going to have W by L suffix n V G S minus C T. Source is grounded. Gate is connected to V I, which is operating at V D D by 2, which is 1.5 volts. V D D is given as 3 volts. So V D D by 2 is going to be 1.5 volts. So V G is 1.5. V S is 0. And V T N is already given to be 0.7 volts. So we're going to have 1.5 minus 0.7, which is 0.8 whole square, is equal to 40 multiplied by W by L P V S G. V S G is going to be 3 minus 1.5, which is 1.5 minus magnitude of V T, which is 0.9. So 1.5 minus 0.9 is going to be 0.6 square. So therefore, here, here it is going to be 0.4. So W by L, whole power n, I mean suffix n, divided by W by L, suffix p, is going to be equal to the top 0.4. 0.6 by 0.8 is nothing but 6 by 8. 6 by 8 is nothing but whole square is nothing but 36 by 64. So if you solve it, you will get the value to be equal to. 0.225. So the range is given to be 0.224 to 0.226 because three decimal accuracy has been asked. So the range is 0.224 to 0.226. I hope this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.